Experts with Japan's nuclear watchdog are poised to make an unprecedented announcement following an investigation at a nuclear plant. NHK has learned a nuclear regulation authority panel has concluded a reactor in Fukui Prefecture sits on an active fault. The unit could be scrapped if the operator is unable to disprove the findings. Panel members spent six months analyzing the ground beneath Reactor 2 at the Tsuruga nuclear plant. They'll release their final report later in the day. Their draft report in January said it's highly possible the fault under the unit is active. Plant operator Japan Atomic Power Company has presented data and photos to disprove that conclusion. Government guidelines banned the construction of reactors above active faults because of concerns about damage from earthquakes. Managers with Japan Atomic Power Company say they will finish their own survey into the fault by June. Representatives of the Nuclear Regulation Authority panel say they may review the report if the operator makes new findings. They plan to decide what to do with the Tsuruga reactor as early as next week. The expert panel of Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority has confirmed the ground beneath the power plant is unstable. Panel members say a reactor on the Sea of Japan coast sits on an active fault, and they say it's at risk should an earthquake strike. NHK World's Takafumi Terui reports. The experts reached their conclusion at a meeting on Wednesday. The findings wrap up their seismological study on the Tsuruga plant. The question is whether the newly found fault is active or not. In the final analysis, we conclude that it's an active one. Governments guideline ban plant operators from building reactors directly above active faults. That means if the panel's findings are upheld, the reactor could be shut down for good. The plant is currently offline. Nuclear Regulation Authority commissioners say they will decide their next step on the reactor as early as next week. Local reactions were mixed. If there's any possibility the reactor sits on an active fault, we shouldn't let it run. The reactor should be decommissioned at once. That would be good for our children. Many people work at the power plant. The reactors should be allowed to run. <laughs> Tsuruga city mayor Kazuharu Kawase questions the findings. He said experts with wider backgrounds should be involved. Nuclear energy has been promoted in line with state policy. If the reactor is to be shut down, the government should show us an alternative way to support our economy. Plant operator also criticized the expert's conclusion. A vice president of Japan Atomic Power Company has protested to the NRA. The report is not based on scientific or technological data. Far from it. We have lodged a complaint. We hope they review the content. The operator says it will conclude its own survey into the fault by June. Panel members say they may review the report if the operator comes up with new findings. NRA commissioners stress they make decisions based on scientific evidence. But critics point out they will need to explain in more detail how they reach their conclusions if they are to rebuild trust in the country's nuclear policy. Takahumi Terui, NHK World. Four Japanese nuclear plant operators say they're preparing to apply to restart reactors. They're hoping to fulfill new safety guidelines that will come into effect in July. Officials at Kansai Electric Power Company and Kyushu Electric Power Company say they plan to ask to resume two reactors each. Shikoku Electric Power Company executives are planning to apply to restart one reactor. Hokkaido Electric Power Company officials say they hope to bring three back online. We hope to restart reactors as soon as their safety is confirmed. 
Operators will be required to introduce tougher measures against accidents and natural disasters. They'll have to study the potential height of tsunami and the possibility of a volcanic eruption. And they'll have to present safety measures to deal with the risks. Officials from the Nuclear Regulation Authority will study the applications and decide whether to allow the reactors to restart. The new regulations will come into effect by July 18th. All but two of Japan's nuclear reactors are offline following the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. More than 25,000 people took to the streets of Tokyo on Sunday to oppose moves to restart nuclear power stations. Plant operators are preparing to apply to restart their reactors when the government introduces new safety guidelines in July. Only one of Japan's nuclear plants is currently online. Nobel Prize winning author Kenzaburo Oe said restarting nuclear plants is a betrayal of the people affected by the 2011 Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident. Miyoko Watanabe used to run a farm near the plant. She says she regrets believing the lie that nuclear plants are safe. Prime Minister Abe said the government plans to export technologies for nuclear power generation. Japan should not take the wrong path by focusing too much on economic benefits. The participants marched near the Diet and the head office of Tokyo Electric Power Company, the operator of the Fukushima plant.